So we're here for round nine of this Doc Hatch Championship in 2012 at Anglesey. On the front row with Matt Fincham. He got his first ever pole position alongside him. Tom Bell, Joe Ferguson and Matt Digby sit on road two. Andrew Tibbs and Patrick Fletcher are the cars that sit on road three. Behind them, Martin Ward. And alongside Martin Ward uh, was Jake Find And a good qualifying from J um, Stephen Powderland. He sits there on the sixth row of the grid. Pip Hammond sits row seven. Here be hoping to make up some positions throughout the 13 minutes plus one lap race for round nine of the championship. We can still ride on board with Pip Hammond then for the start. Row seven off the grid for the ninth round of the 2012 season. The red lights go up. We race, go racing here at Angle C and cars head down to turn one for the first time. A reasonably good start from Pip Hammond and Stephen Powderland. They're both making their way up through the field. Powderland squeezes through the middle of Rowton and uh, Hagen. Now, we, now Pip Hammond goes right round the outside of the whole pack as he we turn in to the second corner of this Anglesey circuit. Called the banking. Now we head down towards Church Rowton and Hagen still running side by side. Pip Hammond there, you can see in the rear view mirror. Wood's going to tuck, I mean, and Paul Jarvis was going to tuck behind Pip, Pip Hammond, but they dives up on the inside and gains a position trying to go past Hagen as well. As now we have the long run down to the chicane, known as Rocket first bit really a hairpin before they turn and Pip Hound goes up on the inside of Hagen gets that position they've got cars going off absolutely everywhere at the top of the hill Joe Ferguson smoking as well hopefully we get to have another look at that because that was absolute carnage up there let's take a look then diving up on the inside with Jake Finder and he collected Matt Digby with quite some force the car flew up in the air so rather big contacts up there Let's take a look on board the board jobs. You can see Fondon well and truly in the air. No one else, they just about made it through the corner. So into turn one then on board with Paul Jarvis. Stephen Powderland picks up another position. This is a great drive from him. He's just worked his way there in front of Martin Ward. Paul Jar uh, Pip Howard there still just ahead of Paul Jarvis as we head down the straight. I'm just, um, yeah, the only people who haven't come through are Digby and Farnden, so the rest of the pack, 19 cars still through us. Through goes Terry Rowton to go back in front of Paul Jarvis as we head again up this long run up to Rocket, where the carnage out the front last time. So they just started to spread up at the front. See Powderton looking on the inside of Tibbs, looking up Rowton as he tries to attack Cameron. Somebody smoking awfully. Powderton then run out wide, and now he's under lots of pressure on Martin Ward. Joe Ferguson still smoking. I think there's a serious problem with his sack, so. As we turn towards the end of the circuit, you can see the sea in the background. Great views we have here at Anglesey. Into the chicane that ends off the lap here. Lots of work going in there and I think possibly Joe Ferguson heading for the pit lane. So Joe Ferguson out the race with some sort of engine failure. So leaders back with us it's Tom Bell that leads the way. Second is Fincham, third Fletcher, fourth is Tibbs, fifth Woods Powder but look like Ward just got back in front of him. Seventh Hammond, eighth Rowton, 9th Jarvis, 10th is Harry Campy having one of his best races of the year, 11th is Hagen, 12th Harding, 13th Fort, 14th Wright, round off the top 15 is Bill Gregory, so back on board we are with Pip Hammond then as he tries to chase down Steve Howland. Yeah. Turning back into turn one then. Just on the breakaway from Powder now. They exit turn one. Jarvis still putting Rowton under pressure. We can ride on board and pull Jarvis in as he tries to find a gap, but there's no gap there as they turn through the banking. Then they put power on. Head down toward Earl's Church. Rowton just started to break away. He's in lots of curve there, Paul Jarvis. And Car float towards the exit of the corner. Then they pass the club hairpin, then they pass school before going up towards uh, 
Rocket and Harry Campy though in 10th position trying to have a look. He gets very close to the back of him and Rowton locks up almost into the back of Pip Hammond. But that all went safely and take us through the second pass of Rocket. Really two hairpins that Chicane made up of. Before we put the power back on again. Head down towards Peel. That's a lot of spectators up on the bank there. Then we go down towards the chicane at the end, the corkscrew. Jarvis seems to carry a lot of speed through here. Gets back onto the back of Terry Rowden and pulls away from Harry Campy. Just through again, Patrick Fletcher in third, last year's champion. Really put in Matt Fincher, might not have the rest. Matt Fincher, not the driver we usually see right at the front. So this is a great drive from him. Pole position yesterday. Running in the podium position today. So we ride back aboard with Pip Hammond chasing after Steve Powell as we go up towards the rocket chicane once again. Good battle for sixth position. This is Pip Hammond using lots of curb. You can't really use too much there because there's that small tyre stack on the inside. If you hit that, that's the end of your race. So Pip Hammond judging it perfectly. Last year's classic Stock Cats champion. Again, Pip Hammond using. More curb and Pelton, Pelton defending the line, staying in front, Pip Hammond darts to the outside and trying to get the cut back, but then of course we're into this corkscrew chicane, and you can't really make up the position there, and Pelton actually carrying a lot of speed onto the front straight, and just about breaking away before turning into the first corner once again. Jarvis. Okay, Ralph is just in front of him. Harry Campy carrying a lot of speed here onto this back straight and he's just going to drive past him heading up towards the, the rocket chicane. Then Jarvis come back at him up on the inside line. Lots of lock to try and get through but Campy still got the inside line. They almost contacted uh, between the two cars. And Campy goes back in front. Sean Hagen next up as well. This is probably one of the better battles on the circuit. We head now down towards the end of the lap once again. Locking up there, Terry Rowton. Just about getting the car stopped. Harry Campion, new driver this year. Improving all the time. This is another person who's having his best weekend of the year, like Matt Fincher and Stephen Powsland. Harry Campy goes into that category as well. Slightly smaller grid than usual here at Anglesey. Grid we expect to pick back up again at Donington Park. Anglesey a long, long way for the competitors to make their way to. On the final lap of the race now, going to cork through for the final time. And um, Pip Hammond still really having a look. Final corner, lunch possibly here. Don't no, Stephen Powell has that one. Covered, so here gets six. Seventh will go to Pip Hammond. As he crosses the line, the checkered flag. But your race winner was Tom Bell. Matt Fincham finished second. Patrick Fletcher third. Andrew Tibbs fourth. Martin Ward finished fifth. In sixth was Stephen Powers. And seventh, Pip Hammond. Eighth, Terry Rowton. Ninth, Harry Campion. To round up the top ten was Paul Jarvis.